All right. Good morning, everyone. It is May the 3rd. It is a Tuesday, and it is 6 a.m. in the morning. I have just dropped off Aaliyah at her job so that I could have my car for today because I have a lot of stuff I need to do. I need to go shopping and get my food for the week. I need to see about getting this dash cam installed and... Um, I just got, I got, I got to move around and be able to, to do stuff. I can't just wait on her to get home at six, seven o'clock. So, um, what I'm also doing today since I'm already up, I didn't sleep much. I only had like four, three and a half to four hours of sleep. Um, but since I'm up, I'm going to go ahead and head to the gym and do a, a hour's worth of workout there do some cardio, uh, some strength training, and as you can hear, I am congested. Again, my sinuses, my nose has just been running all morning. I don't know what that's about. I don't know. Um, nothing works. Humidifiers don't work. Turning off the fan don't work. Uh, allergy medicine don't work. So, it, I don't know why I keep closing this. So it is what it is. Um, I'm going to just deal with it and get my workout in. I'll probably be exhausted by the time I get back. And then I'll just, you know, take a shower and jump right back in bed and then go handle business. It's still early, so I got time. And, um, yeah, that's the move for today. Uh, just to get shit done. <laughs> Legit, just to get shit done. And if I feel up to it, I may or may not do a second workout and go skating uh, this afternoon. But it just depends. So, all right, let's head to the gym. Let's get our workout in. And let's get this day started. So, I'm um, done with my workout. Um, I was at the gym for about 50 minutes. Did 25 minutes or 30 minutes of cardio, really. And just did some... Um, leg exercises on the weight machines or whatever. Uh, I forgot to mention that yesterday or, or yeah, late last night, um, that evening I had gotten some Chipotle and I got a burrito, a Sofritas burrito with veggies, queso, pico, corn, sour cream, cheese guac and lettuce and literally later on that night my my hand started itching my fingers started itching the blister started popping up again and it's funny because just the day before I was just like raving about like how unbelievable it was that my hands were doing so good and not experiencing really any new blisters and then as soon as I get some chipotle here come the blisters so, like, even, like, now, like, two and a half years later, I'm still, like, learning about my skin disorder, and I don't know specifically what it could be. Um, obviously, when I was vegan, I didn't have this issue, but um, I don't know if it's the dairy, the flour, the gluten I, I don't know i don't know what the fuck it could be but it's obviously something um that i am ingesting so what i've come to realize is that with me having this um this uh dyshydrosis there's two contributing factors that um cause my hands to flare up there are internal factors which is usually linked to diet um, some would say stress. I don't think stress is my issue. Um, I do believe that allergies, um, with it being allergy season, definitely does contribute to it as well. Because um, I had really bad flare-ups during like the pollen um, season. Um, so those are the internal factors. And then the external is like anything that because now that my skin is like just sensitive to everything now anything that um can aggravate it like being wet for too long um even just wearing this smart watch um causes um you know it could be the sweat that builds up underneath the 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 band 
I don't know, but friction, um, sweat, water, moisture, just sitting on the skin for a prolonged period of time tends to aggravate um, my eczema and causes it to um, flare up. So I, I took a couple of food allergy tests or maybe I took one food allergy test and I didn't have anything crazy, just some insensitivity. So um, I don't know if it's due to an insensitivity or if I'm just having adverse reactions to a certain ingredient. I don't know. It could be dairy. It could be a multitude of things. At this point, we'll never know. Um, I'm going to mention it to Dr. Houston. I'll meet with her this week and see what she has to say about that. Um, I think she mentioned she wanted to do another food allergy uh, test anyway. So more than likely, she'll probably want to get that done um, along with other stuff. So, all right, just, just wanted to check in before I head in. I'm probably going to take a shower and just go to bed because at this point I'm tired and I didn't really get a good night's rest. So, all right, check in with you guys later. Good morning, everyone. It is May the 4th. It is a Wednesday. I'm a little upset. I'm a little tired. I woke up this morning and took a leave to work at 4.30, went to bed at 12.30, so I didn't get much sleep. So I came back home, fell asleep just to wake up and realize that I missed my appointment with Dr. Houston today. And that was because I got the dates mixed up. I thought I was meeting with her tomorrow because we usually meet on a Tuesday or a Thursday. And no, it was today, and she called me <laughs> while I was in the midst of falling asleep, and I pushed ignore because I didn't know that was her calling me. And so, usually, she will send an email to confirm the appointment a couple days before. I don't recall getting that email. Um, I, I got an email for a reminder, but I didn't double-check the date to be sure. <sighs> It, between me getting a new phone and my calendar's not getting synced up, that it was just an issue. So it is what it is. I'm going to uh, reschedule with her as soon as possible so we can talk about my results with the liver flush and how we need to move going forward. But that ship has sailed, so we're not going to stress about that today. We're just going to keep on fucking moving. It's uh, past 11 o'clock now. It is about time for me to eat. However, I do feel invigorated enough to go do a workout. I want to go skating today. And this time I want to do more endurance long distance skating. And I want to skate along the nature trail. Um, and I think I'm going to take y'all along just so y'all can kind of get a feel of uh, what it's like to skate through there. I don't go too, too far. I literally just go a mile in, a mile back. Like, it just go back and forth. Um... So, yeah, that's kind of fun, but we'll see how that goes. Before we do that, though, we need to get this, um, we, we need to get this, uh, this dash cam situated. So, I got the Red Tiger Ultra HD driver recorder, and I'm going to show you what that comes with. Excuse my mess here. Hold up. All right. This is it. And here is the recorder itself. You can see the size of it. Very, very low profile. It has an LED screen with uh, buttons that you can push to navigate. Power on and it has a SD drive. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Or, or an SD slot for, uh, you know, saving your videos. I need to get that today, too. Um, so, by default, it comes with the cigarette uh, lighter adapter situation. That's how it's powered. I only have one cigarette lighter adapter in my car, and I already used it to charge my phone, among other things, so that is not an option for me. And besides that, I want my camera to be powered with the car, so that when I cut the car on, the shit turns on, and it knows to cut on and record. So, um, It also comes with the 
rear camera situation. You can see that there. I'm probably going to affix this to my rear view, my, uh, yeah, my rear view mirror. Not my mirror, but the, uh, the window. Yeah. The window in the back of the car. You can place this outside. The camera is waterproof. I just don't feel like doing all that. Then again, maybe I could slip it through the, uh, truck, maybe. If it's long enough. We'll see what happens with that. I'm pretty sure this is what you uh fix the camera to to hold it up this is the holster or whatever so yep that's it they give you a thing of doubles um of a uh, tape to adhere to and i guess that's for that camera maybe um and they give you this little wedge pusher thing i guess to hide and conceal your wires so what we're going to try to do today is I got this separate hardwire kit from Amazon and we're going to try to use this to connect to our fuse box in the car to power this with the car instead of with the um, adapter. And um, I got to make sure that I don't use the wrong fuses because I could drain the power of my battery or I could mess up something important in the car. So, in order to do this, I got another item from Amazon. Let me go get it real quick. Bam! All right, I got me a digital multimeter situation. Everybody that I've seen showing tutorials on how to hardwire their car have one of these, and it's just to be able to test the voltage of... Um, you know, fuses and mo other things, honestly. Um, but with this, the hardwire kit, pretty simple. Um, of course, you have the piece that connects to the camera. Um, it goes into this unit here. And then you have a set of three wires. So you have a red wire that connects to a fuse that can only be powered when the engine is turned on. So like your accessory devices, um, like the radio, stuff like that, only powers when the car is on or in accessory mode. Then you have the yellow uh, cord, which is powered whether the car is on or off. There will always be power supplied to it. And we need to, this to check and make sure that it is at least 12 volts Um power to the device with the car turned off and you have the black earth cord which connects to a metal part of the fuse box negative pole of power supply so that's pretty simple it's, it should be a screw somewhere near the fuse box and i just kind of loosen it and attach this on and that's it so those are the pieces there the black wire the yellow wire and the red wire Sounds simple enough, so we're going to go outside to my car and see if we can make it do what it do. Alright, so we're at my car on the driver's side, and the fuse box should be somewhere around here or in here. So this needs to come off. I don't know exactly what I am doing. Can I zoom out? No. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, so hopefully I don't tear my car up. I think I'm going to try to undo this and see if I can access it a little better. Uh, oh, look at that. Why don't you do it? Yes, he will. All right, part one is done. Now we, so the fuse box is over here, but can this come off is the question.
I think that is the fuse box there. And it's a lot going on in here. And I don't know if I signed up for this. Okay, I actually have great news. The fuse box is not where I thought it was. I'm pretty sure that's a fuse box or something in there. But there's actually another one that we're supposed to access. So let me show you where that is. If we go under the steering wheel here. And then if I flip around. Focus. Bam. All right, so we're gonna open this up. Let me see. How can I position y'all so y'all can see what's happening? All right. So it has a diagram. Oh shit! Let me move. Fuck. All right, it has a diagram on it. So that does make things a little easier. Um, hope I don't short circuit the, the battery or something. Alright, we have power. You can't see it because it's so dark, but we have power. Alright, um, so this is going to tell me the voltage reading for each fuse. So long as I do this right. Oh, wait, it has a backlight. Okay. What a very awkward place to put the damn fuse box. <laughs> it should just come out, right? Okay, let me figure this out and I'll be back. I've been at it with this web dash cam for three hours and I've finally figured out the proper way to hook it up. Um, and I hooked it up and connected everything and for whatever reason, the shit won't cut on. I tested it with the car adapter that it came with and that works. So, the, the dash cam itself isn't broken. I don't know if maybe I got a faulty cable or something. I tested everything, made sure it was properly connected, and I don't know what the fuck is going on with it now. So, I'm just kind of over it. It's 2 o'clock now. I still haven't eaten. I'm over it. I'm just over it. I'm hot. I'm irritated. My eye is irritated because of the pollen. Um... I'm going to give it another 30 minutes, and if this shit don't work out, I'm going to just call it quits. Hey, everyone. I'm just checking in. It's uh, 7.55. It is um, the end of the day, and absolutely nothing went as planned today. Um, I just left my shop. I had to do my cousin's hair for her birthday next week, and it turned out okay. Um, so I guess that was one thing that turned out right. Um, couldn't install the dash cam. Um, I don't know what went wrong, but at this point, I'm just going to have to find somebody to do it. Um, then I was supposed to go skating earlier today, so I wouldn't have to go now. And that didn't happen because the dash cam took longer than I anticipated, and I didn't even finish installing it. And to top it all off... Um, I'm supposed to leave directly from the salon to go skating, 
and I left my headphones and I'm definitely not about to go skating without my headphones and even early this morning I scratched a whole new like scab on my head I don't know why but I keep scratching my head in these spots in my sleep is as you can see it's like the same exact spot but it's right here it's really fresh it's really fresh and it hurts so my, that's how my day started and this is how it's ending and oh oh I forgot the best part I haven't eaten today at all like it's eight o'clock and I haven't eaten the most I've had is like uh, like maybe four spoonfuls of like peanut butter and I really shouldn't even be eating that because it's loaded full of calories but you know what and the whole time I'm like I need to eat before I go work out I need to I need to eat like it's not it's not happening like it's it's just not happening today and I'm trying not to stress about it but it's just like the whole day has just been off and you know what today is today is a fuck it day that's what it is today is a fuck it day fuck fuck this fasting today Fuck uh, trying to be on schedule. Fuck everything going right. Just, just fuck it today. Fuck it today. It's not meant to happen today. I'm not going to fight the universe. The universe says no. It's not happening today. Oh, oh, and then, of course I missed my doctor's appointment. Like everything just went wrong today. So I am just going to let it all go today. I'm going to have a good night, sleep, and just recalibrate and refresh tomorrow and we're gonna start brand new but yeah today's a fuck it day and I'm saying fuck it that is all all right everyone so it is May the 5th it is a Thursday um, it's a few hours before I need to start preparing for the watch party I just got home from doing a client um, this morning and Finally getting around to doing my shopping for the week with my produce. So I just wanted to give you a quick little view of what I got. Um, for the most part, because I had so much success with my um, diet during the preparation for the liver flush, I kind of want to stick with that kind of um, routine. Uh, I'm not going to stick with it to a T because it is very restrictive. But um, I noticed I did not have as much issues with my hands flaring up when I was primarily vegan. So today, um, my hands, let me see if I can show you. My hands are like bumping up tremendously. Now, keep in mind that I did have uh, McDonald's last night. Um, I just got a couple of double... McDoubles. Um, I did buy some fries, but I was kind of full off of the. I was full off of the the burger, so I just kind of stuck with that. But as you can see, um, it's been really itchy today, and it's just it's crazy how just a couple of days. Um, my hands have just bumped up like this versus like before. It was like just completely like blister free. So, um, yeah, um, I'm sure that's just from, you know, not being consistent, switching up and everything. But anyways, so what I got from the store, um, I got baby spinach and this is what I will be using when I want to saute, um, you know, some veggies or maybe even steam it for dinner. Um, but I am going to primarily use this for my salads that I'm going to have every day. Um, I got a pack of... Let me zoom out here. Hold on. Sorry about that. I got a pack of salad here. Um, the Farmer's Garden. Butter and red leaf lettuces, grape tomatoes, carrots, and radishes. And I got another variety. Uh, which contains iceberg lettuce, carrots, romaine lettuce, pea pods, radishes, and red cabbage. So that's going to be that for the salad. I am still going to use, hold on, excuse my kitchen if it looks a mess. I am still going to stick with the Brianna's Organic 
uh, real French vinaigrette dressing. I really, really like this. Um, unless my doctor says I need to do something differently, I'm going to stick with this. I need to get some more. I should have got some today, but it's fine. Um, let's see. Let's go through the soups. Um, again, just going to revisit the vegetable lentil red pepper soup along with the Amy Organic soup. Um, mostly primarily lentil soups. We got lentil vegetable. Put this down a little bit more. We got lentil vegetable, quinoa kale, red lentil. I got some black bean vegetable. Definitely going to be loaded with protein. Um, split pea, again for protein. And golden lentil. So, like I said, I really do like the Amy's Organics um, soups. And they taste really, really good for the most part. It was a couple of soups that I didn't really care for. And I think it was just like the plain lentil soup. Which makes sense because it's just plain lentil. Um, so, for sautéing, uh, we got broccoli. We got Brussels sprouts. And I'll probably end up steaming more than sauteing. Um, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, snipped green beans, carrots, and zucchini. Oh, I also forgot to mention I got some cucumber for my salads as well. I want to make sure that I include at least uh, three different types of vegetables in my salads every day. Um, to help balance out my meals, I have my berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. Um, that's the only fruit that she really allows me to eat, um, I guess because it's very low in sugar. Um, so I can't really consume a lot of fruits. Now, I do have some egg whites, and I just got this um, for when I want to switch up my breakfast. And maybe, like, instead of having... Um, you know, salad and soup. Maybe I want to switch it up and have an omelet with some veggies in it. You know, like a spinach omelet or something. Um, and just some um, tomatoes and celery just to mix it up in the kitchen. Now, um, I couldn't eat rice before and I forgot to get uh, cauliflower rice for this week. But I'm just going to improvise and um, just use my brown rice. I'm only limited to four servings of rice per week. So, um, we're pretty much mostly through the week, so I should be good at this point. But yeah, that is what I will be consuming for the week. I'm just trying to keep it simple. I'm not going to do anything too extravagant. I'm not going to venture out too much. Yeah, it is kind of boring just eating the same stuff every day, but it's working for me. And I thought about going to get um, ground turkey, but... The idea of me cooking ground turkey just, I it just doesn't appeal to me. I just I don't want to, I don't want to touch it. I I just don't. So, um, yeah, that's that. Let me go ahead and fix my first meal of the day, which will be my salad, soup, and berries. And I need to also get ready for the watch party tonight. So, I will see y'all later. Okay. Um. It's 8.07, and I'm still not live streaming for the watch party. Um, at this point, I've just canceled it. Um, I, I just, I just can't, I can't do it. Like, it's just, it's just too much. Um, before I even start complaining, I just finished, um, making dinner, and, um, Something simple. I just steamed spinach, broccoli, and I broiled some Brussels sprouts. I made some rice in my rice cooker with vegetable broth, brown rice, of course. Um, and I have some lentil soup, golden lentils. So that's going to be um, the meal for tonight. I'm just kind of exhausted like none of this stuff was hard to make obviously um i'm just i'm just fucking exhausted um i know i keep saying that so i i had to go get Aaliyah from work um again you guys know her car is 
totaled at this point. So, um, she needs help getting to and from work. And her job is literally only 20 minutes away. But when I went to go pick her up at 5, it literally took us... It, like, I left at 5. We didn't get back until 6.30. Like, so it was like a whole hour and a half just to get to and from. It's so much fucking traffic. If you are thinking of moving to Atlanta because you've heard all the wonderful things about Atlanta, Atlanta please don't. Like, don't come here. There's no there's no fucking room. There's no space for you. Like, the, the traffic is getting worse and worse by the day. It's just people every fucking where and i don't understand why everyone is coming here like it's a bunch of people that come here some love it and then some people come and they're like oh it's not what i thought it was and they end up leaving like just don't come like i i don't i don't know what happened it was like once um you know slavery ended and blacks was able to like be free like it was this mass exodus of black people like venturing out to the north and, you know, to the West and just going everywhere. And now it just seems like all the black people are now like doing a mass exodus back to the South. Like everyone is just coming back and they're coming back to the hot spots. They're coming to Atlanta. They're coming to Dallas. They're coming to Austin. And I'm sure they're coming other places that I, I don't know. Of. But it's just like, don't come here it's too much and then it's like even with all the traffic like people are just really impatient and they're just driving completely reckless and it's so many accidents so many unnecessary stuff and it's because people are just like over it like i'm over it um i i, I should have been ready by now to do the watch party i'm kind of bummed out and i kind of feel some type of way that i can't and then to make matters worse like when i'm on the way home here goes my mom calling me hey i need help with the computer okay you're a fucking adult like this is your job you work with computers every day you're a teacher like between you and your daughter who is almost 40 years old why the fuck do y'all act like y'all are just completely incompetent and like can't do shit without like little old me like y'all literally can't do shit without me and i'm just kind of over it. i'm just over stupid like ignorant people and people that choose to be ignorant and choose not to like learn how to operate basic things like like a fucking laptop like I, I can't be there every time you need me to like press power to cut the shit on like figure this shit out between that and between the fucking idiots on the road and just the, the people in the city like I'm just I'm over people like I'm irritated I, I don't want to be around stupid people and I feel like that's where I'm at. I'm, a, I'm around stupid people all the time. And, like, I'm not even mad at my sister because it's, like, her car, like, that was just a matter of circumstance. You know, it's not her fault. But it's just, like, it's three other adults here between all three of us. Like, I don't see why we all can't pitch in and help her get to and from work or get where she needs to go. But they all just so fucking selfish and just all about their fucking selves and it irritates my fucking soul. And, like, it sucks now because Lee and I were supposed to move. Now we can't. Um, and honestly, I don't think I'm ready for that right now either. Um, it's, everything is just kind of up in the air right now. But it's just... I'm not even going to get into all of that. But I'm, I'm just... Between doing all that, rushing to cook, like, cook, this isn't fun for me. Like, I don't I don't want to learn new recipes. I don't want to do all this fun stuff in the kitchen. Like, it's not fun for me. Like, I just want to fucking eat. Like, this would be the fucking time that I would go to fucking McDonald's or go to Sonic and get me a quick meal and just, like, let that be that. But I was like, no, Narada, you already had a cheeseburger yesterday. Like, hop the fuck down. You're not going to fall back into that fucking trap. Like, you got too much to fucking lose. <sighs> I'm just over it. I'm over everything. This is about to be another fucking day. That's what it was about to be another fucking day, but it's not. Just fuck everybody else. That's what it is. Fuck everybody else day. That's what it is. All right, let me eat this food and just chill out for a second, play on my Switch until I calm the fuck down, and I'm going to just hop on my gaming channel. Oh, no, no, no. What I need to do, if I'm not going to do the watch party, I guess I'll edit another uh, wellness update because I need to do that so that's what I'll do do something productive
All right, so it is Sunday, May 8th. Um, it is the end of the night. Today was a really busy day. Um, this morning I got up and helped my sister move most of her stuff from her home um, that she was living with her roommate. She's moving back home. So I helped her move her bed and stuff, and that took up most of the morning. And then... In the afternoon, we went to go see the new Doctor Strange movie, and I won't give any spoilers, but I will say that I did not thoroughly enjoy the movie. But then again, I'm not really a huge Marvel movie fan. Um, I do like superheroes in Marvel, and I, I vaguely know the characters or whatever, but I don't know. The Marvel movies just kind of, it's too much for me. Like, the action sequences just kind of be, like, too much the special effects be too much. It's cool and everything, but I feel like sometimes they just kind of OD it, and it's kind of hard to follow, like, everything that's happening on screen at once. Um, it wasn't too hectic this time around. I just feel like the plot just wasn't... Um, it just wasn't good. And that's how I felt about the last Spider-Man movie, and people, like, really just did not get my perspective on that and I'm like he literally like is trying to save these villains from their evil self as a means of them redeeming uh you know their their evil self or whatever and I'm like but they still killed a bunch of people so they still have to be held accountable so you're literally sacrificing all these people your aunt dying and all the people dying just to go out of your way to help these people. And yeah, like, it's it's good. Like, he's a, a good person. He has a kind heart. He's compassionate. He's thoughtful. But it's just like, it. the ends, the end doesn't justify the means. Like, it just, all that energy and effort spent to try to save these villains, these super villains, it, it, for, for, so that they can go back to their dimensions or their, their universe and, and, and be contributing um, good members of society is just like it's kind of over and done with like they, they, they need to be held accountable nobody kind of got my point of view on that but i get that it's a lot of like nerds that can't really see past oh my god they got all three spider-mans in the same movie like it's just like okay but can we like really deeply analyze the context of the movie it's cool i don't even want to get on that but um so we went, like I said, we went to go see Doctor Strange and um, this morning I went to McDonald's because we had to move and I didn't eat and I was like, I'm not going to have time to eat doing all of this. So I was like, let me just go get McDonald's. That's what I did. Um, and I got two double cheeseburgers and two strawberry cream pies and them shits is loaded with fucking calories. Those shits is fucking loaded with calories. Um, and so when we went to the movies, I got a hot dog, I got some pretzel bites, and I had a big old bag of Reese's Pieces. I'm like, well, shit, since we're here and since we done fucked up today, I guess today is another fucking day. So I kind of felt guilty about doing all of that, and especially since I stepped on the scale this morning and saw that I lost about two more pounds and I was like, I really don't want to jeopardize this trajectory that we're on. So I was like, let me at least attempt to go work out and like burn some of this extra calories I put on today off. Um, so I was going to go skating as you see me dressed. And uh, I went to the skating rink and they had the door locked for some reason. It was like a few number of cars. So I knew they were in there. And I guess maybe they felt like because it's an hour and a half to closing, they weren't letting anybody else in. I'm like, that's fucking lazy, y'all. It's supposed to be open until 12 o'clock. So, like, I get closing, like, one hour beforehand, but, like, an hour and a half, that's, you're doing too much. I would go to the gym, but um, Planet Fitness doesn't open until 12 at midnight, and... I don't feel like waiting that long to go work out and then have to fight sleep and all of that. So what I decided to do instead is um, I bought this average. I, I saw this advertisement on Instagram of this guy. Uh, I guess he's a yoga instructor and he was just like basically sh telling people that he has this 21 day um, regimen to help you gain more flexibility 
um, with your hips. And that's something that I've always struggled with. And I feel like that's something that really hinders um, my skating and just my comfortability and my posture. So the the lesson, it was like $99 um, for the full course, but I got a special and I only ended up paying $70. Um, so I think I'm going to start that today. Um, he has live sessions that he plans on starting sometime, like the 21st or sometime this month. But they already have a playlist of like the previous um, situations, I guess, that you can still um, check out in the archives. So I think I'm going to do that today and start like opening up my hips and stretching or whatever. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also, um, before I go to bed, I'm going to do a VR workout and do Supernatural. So I'm actually going to start working on a video because I didn't realize so many of y'all had um oculus um vr headsets and oculus is actually a really um great tool to like do like cardio and workouts at home they have a lot of apps for you to do like boxing um workouts dancing and things like that so i am going to share um some of my favorite apps to use on there to get a good little cardio workout and so, you know because for me workouts have to be fun like walking around the park that's not fun for me um going to the gym that's not really fun for me but i i understand that it's necessary for me i like to do skating i like to do ping pong i like to do tennis i like to do um shit what else do i like to do vr um so I like to do things that's a little more um, amusing and engaging. And when I'm having fun while working out, that seems to be most effective for me. And I'm more inclined to continue doing those types of workouts. So that's the plan for today, tonight. Um, open up my hips and... and that sounds so weird. Uh, stretch my hips and uh, do a VR workout uh, for about 30 minutes. Um, take a shower and go to bed. Um, it's probably going on 11.30 now, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, at some point, I will start recording footage of me using VR. I'll have to cut out the music because um, a lot of the music that they use on there is like um, copywritten music, like legit like hits. like that. So I can't obviously play that on YouTube, but we'll see what happens. But um I just want to say thank you all for all the love and support. I just uploaded my um, episode three to my journey to wellness and just see, reading you guys' comments and suggestions and encouragement has really been helpful. Um, and I, I definitely feel better. Um, I definitely can see the weight coming off slowly but surely. Um I I just been busy. That's that's the only thing. Doing all of this is like adding another layer to my busy life schedule. That's making it harder and harder for me to um, be consistent with streaming. Um, as you saw, I, I missed my watch party last week. Um, so that's been the only trade off. But it. It has to be done. I, I have to get my my health and my life under control because I'm slowly losing control of it. And I think over time, what will end up happening is I'll kind of eventually balance out everything. I might have to start developing like an actual schedule for me to stick to on a daily basis. The only problem with schedules for me is that my life is not on a schedule. Like... Some days I go to work, some days I don't. Sometimes I go to work in the middle of the afternoon, sometimes I don't. It's in the morning. Like, my, my day is always fluctuating and it's always spontaneous from day to day. So, it really just depends. But if that's what I need to do to get more consistency, then that's just what I'm going to have to do. Five minutes. This is a science and stretching approach that all people 
gotta hold this shit for two to five minutes. Oh, I'm feeling the burn. I'm feeling the burn. Oh, I want to switch so fucking bad. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. about to head out on the nature trail to get my workout on but before I do I'm gonna be skating in these these are my rollerblade twister le80 and I have not skated in these in forever um, but these are a really really good pair of skates I don't know if they still make this line or not because I bought these years ago um, but they're really really good these things it's filthy look at that just dirt everywhere this is what the damn bearing looked like <laughs> so what you do is you're gonna first take your old wheel, wipe all the dirt off on both sides. You're gonna take your bearing puller and you're gonna pry it out like that. And it comes right out. So the bearing is, these are the same things that they use for fidget spinners. So it's full of a bunch of little tiny wheels. I mean, not wheels, little tiny balls and they're in this little plastic frame and they spin around this round um, round donut thing like in the center so they actually rotate so that's what allows your wheels to rotate really easily and quickly so you put them in and you can use your your bearing puller to push it in, just like that. And you do the same for the other side. Pull it out, place it on the, on the puller, and you push it in, like that. And these ones are really, or these skits are really simple. So you literally just insert the wheel, line it up, and insert the axle and screw it in place. So that's probably why this doesn't really need a spacer. And it just screws into the other side. Just tighten it up. And it's a simple, oh shit, is that too tight? That was a little tight. All right, I just don't need you coming loose on me. There we go. A nice, smooth, long roll. This is what you want. If your wheels aren't spinning like this, 
you're gonna have a hard time skating and you'll be putting a lot of energy into each push. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing that off camera because y'all know these streams be long enough. But um... All right, so I'm out here. I got my skates on and I already feel really awkward in these skates. It's been so many years since I skated in them and they feel completely different from my Snow Whites. Which is why I tell people um, that when you get Snow Whites or inline figure skates, you kind of have to readjust and relearn. But I'll get back into it probably after like 30 minutes or so. But I'm gonna go ahead and cross this busy highway um, up here and I'm gonna start my workout i have my heart rate monitor on so i'm gonna track my heart rate um, as well as the time that i've been skating and calculate my calories burned and all of that so hopefully all goes well again hoping to get 10 miles but if i get six or eight i'm i'm happy and i'm fine with that so let's do it let's go Look at that, see that? Almost got hit. We ain't even start yet.
right, so it's been about an hour since I've been out here. I currently just completed six miles. Um, and throughout that duration, I almost got hit by a car. Um, a bug has flew in my mouth, up my nose. Um, almost just got attacked by dogs. And... Yeah, that's it. Literally, literally, when I started the damn skate, a car literally like screeched his brakes to a halt because he almost hit me. Like, I'm just not gonna skate here anymore. It's just too dangerous. This is this is why Atlanta is just not the city to go skating around. And I see people riding their bikes in the street all the time. Y'all brave because it couldn't be me. The way these people be driving and the way they impatient. But um, so far so good. I'm trying to hurry up and finish. So I could get back home and get some live streaming in tonight um, on my gaming channel. So uh, I've been resting here for about 15 minutes. So let me get my ass up and get these last four miles in. I'm going to go on the other side of the trail, do a mile out, a mile back, a mile out again, a mile back. And that should be my 10 miles. And we done for today. So... Baby, what's your angle? Know it's just a good time, tell me what's your table Numbers on the neck again, you'll be going lap them In the set, one set, high tap dance Feel about the bands, best stage, meet the band Press pass, head on my chest, I ain't never messing I'm never messy, but I still mess up Kiss your neck, leave your drawers on the dresser Booty pics as thick like an album Saying how come, what's the outcome? Tied down and we tired Backlog, all the hits, my entire Body you working, hot in my shirt, you swimming We grinning, never had a thing for weak women, fuck Give me on your good side, baby, with your angle Know it's just a good time, tell me what's your table Numbers on the neck again, you'll be going lap them In the set, one set, high tap dance Been about the bands, best stage, meet the band Press pass, head on my chest, I ain't never messing I'm never messy, Need another minute, what I fall into Room still spinning with my eyes on you Need another minute, what I fall into Think it's you, yeah. And I've been losing sleep when I lay with you. Room still spinning with my eyes on you. I just need a minute, need a minute, goddamn. I just need a minute, need a minute, god. Gave me a chance to say, look, cards on the table, and I know when I'm up full house. Sleeping on the couch, can you cut? We assess, you don't wanna love me best. Gang said match, I don't need a patch. Been an empath, share a bottle, and we laugh. Crack up. Crack it open, leave me dumbfounded, so spoken. But you know me this. On your good side, baby, what's your angle? Know it's just a good time, tell me you what's your table. Three, Give me on your good side, baby, what's your angle? Know it's just a good time, tell me you what's your table. Numbers on the neck again, you'll be going lap them. In the set, one set, high tap dance, feel about the fans. Best stage, meet the band. Press pass, head on my chest, I never messin', I'm never messy. Yeah.